Buzz Buzz. We're so glad to have you back, Buzz Buzz. You are so cute. Uh, things weren't crazy enough in our lives right now. This guy has heartworms. Yeah. We just picked him up from the vet. He stayed there overnight. And I think what they did is they gave him a shot that is killing the heartworms. Yeah, so it's killing them. And so then they start to basically decay and break apart. And what happens is then he passes it through his circulatory system, being, you know, blood. Uh, eventually it will go into his fetal matter. So he, he disposes of it. But the thing is if they break off too quickly, it may cause a clot. Very well to be death. Yeah. And so the vet's having us keep him very quiet, very calm, and they said to be safe. Go basically the whole two months and keep him quiet, and we're definitely gonna do that. This throws a whole other element into our life plan right now. We're gonna have to keep Brady and Buzz separate. They can't be together because they are too excited together. Don't want to risk anything happening to Buzz, anything worse than what's happening now. The girl at the the vet was talking to us about how common heartworms are and she said you don't realize all it takes is one mosquito bite and if they're not on their meds like buzz there's a month maybe two maybe months, two months um, you know here in Texas the mosquitoes are out all year and so all it takes is one mosquito bite and that's how the heartworms are transferred I guess <laughs> we've asked you guys for you know, love and positive vibes and prayers for Matt's leg. Now we need him for Buzz. Um, because yeah, forget my leg. Not that important. Matt's leg is healing. Now we need to focus on Buzz Buzz. <laughs> yeah, he's so, important. super careful, super cautious. Um, Buzz has to be on a leash at all times. Anytime he goes outside, no running, uh, no excitement, no spinning, none of his favorite things. So, we're just going to get through this and never, ever ever miss our heartworm medication ever again ever so yeah that's what we're so up now that matt is doing better and i can actually focus a bit more on my own stuff i'm gonna dive back into this program that i'm in and it's precision nutrition it's basically a nutritional certification that i'm gonna be working on and i'm hoping to finish it probably by the fall but I've got to go through this textbook. I have not started it. I'm only on the introduction right now. It's an online course. So I've got a study guide. I've got this huge textbook. And then I've got some helpful forms, which are supposed to help with my coaching. With my online coaching program, I focus a lot on the mentality aspect of fitness and health. So I help them to figure out, okay, Let's try for this many workouts this week. Let's try and get your nutrition and your calories about here. If it doesn't work, then we try and assess, okay, what is not working? Why is this not working? Why is it harder for you to stick to this program, you know, over the weekend or after two, three weeks? What's going on in your mind? So this focuses on the mentality um, of fitness and health as a lifestyle, changing your habits over time when it comes to nutrition and how to help clients do that. And I'm really excited about it. It's been a while since I've been enrolled in any kind of classes or courses. The last thing that I did was my NASM certification. Um, and that was for my personal training, but my tax refund, luckily, um, I was able to get this course. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, So it's Thursday and we are off to Austin. We try and leave around 6.30 to get there Whoops. before 8 because traffic usually takes a while. So we're dog sitting today. I'm gonna try and get my workout done while I'm there. And then we'll probably get back pretty late. And then we had something planned tonight, right? What Good do we, we what do we want to do last or this night? Tonight. This, this night. night. <laughs> last night we All finished night. <laughs> last night we finished um, putting the um, black water into our poop trolley and we took it over to the septic and we dumped it so we should be all clear black and gray water is gone for now for now it usually takes us we'll make more uh, usually takes us here on and off using um, but we also use his parents bathroom in their house when we when we can I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of today because it's gonna be a busy day 
day. I was gonna let y'all know kind of what our day looks like most of the week now that we're dog sitting, because it's kind of hectic. Gosh, it. Do you have any? Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think about tonight. Like, what are we doing tonight? What is it gonna be? I feel like whenever a mom leaves the, like a baby at preschool and sees if they cry, mm -hmm. so I feel like. Where are we going? Breakfast tacos. Breakfast tacos. And this is where you could stay if you come to Austin. It's the Pecan Grove RV Park. Apparently you have to reserve like a year in advance. Well, Didn't you say that? Possibly, yeah. Like way in advance Sometimes. to stay there. So we don't need to because my brother lives super close. It's a great location. I don't know how much it costs though. What's chili? Uh There's actually produce. Okay. Protein bars. Don't they have a lot of concerts here or something? Yeah. Well, during certain times of the year, they have more. Like summertime? Yeah. Pretty cool place. I'm not crazy about the food, nope. but they have a lot of concerts and events here. This whole strip is where a lot of things happen in Austin. Um, Zilker Park is right down that way. And of course, yeah, they have ACL. Uh, Barton Springs is over there. Blues on the Green is over there. So, yeah. at Christmas time, they do Trail of Lights, and it gets so packed along here. But it's really cool because you can just walk and see a lot of people, and the restaurants are always full. Little food trucks up here, so it's a really cool area to be in. As long as you don't have to drive anywhere. Driving around here kind of sucks. This is the uh, home of the Purple Rita. What, what's in that margarita? Just a lot of liquor. Yeah. Tequila, so. Basically... You can only have two. Yeah, they limit you at two, which is crazy. But there's multiple locations, so I think you can have like eight <laughs> in a night. <laughs> I think there's like a thing where you're supposed to hit like all eight or all four. Oh know. my gosh. Basically, it's a really strong margarita. It tastes just like straight alcohol. Yeah. All these cute little trailers. By the way, hey Cupcake right there. I honestly think it's overrated. Oh. There's a lot better bakeries here in Austin. Yeah. Welcome to Matt's Mindful Minute. Oh, hi, Daryl. Uh, yeah, I can't do these. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just doing some light reading. Teach y'all a few things. I have like a pee bottle bag, package of Oreos. <laughs> Living the dream. It was my Wednesday night, you know. <laughs> I drink a little beer, teach y'all a few things. What are we learning tonight, Matthew? I'm gonna start now teaching you fools what a palindrome is. Yeah, palindrome. Okay. Start. I'll start real simple. Okay. A word or phrase. And I'm acting like I'm reading this. I'm not really actually. I, I know what it is now because I just googled it. It's either a word or a phrase that ends and begins with the same letters. A few examples are things like Anna, A N N A. The name. That's never Okay, well, that's still like a word or something. <laughs> level, Hannah. When you level your RV, L-E-V-E-L. -E Mom, noon, it gets hot at noon. Race car, radar, redder, or more red. Yeah, I guess, I don't know, it's on here. Solos, wow. No, like Han Solos. Like, you know, whenever you go to like a sorority, you see a bunch of those Han Solos. <laughs> Here's my favorite, one second. So these are multiple word palindromes. Don't nod, I did, did I? My gym. Think about it. Red rum. Sir is murder. Step on no pets. It's like a PSA. Don't step on those pets. <laughs> Top spot. <laughs> Was it a cat I saw? Ava. I feel like I should say it again. Ava. Can I see bees in a cave? Ava. Comma. Can I see bees in a cave? Maybe. I don't know if there's light in a cave. Who's Ava? No lemon. No melon. So what happens when you go to like a coffee shop and you're like, man, I want some lemons and some melons. Like, well, that, that's not a coffee shop. No lemon? No melon? Something like that, you know? Like, here's a goal for everyone out there. If y'all get this, if 
y'all can get someone to say this back to you in real life, or if y'all hear this in real life, let me know more of these phrases. I want to read more of these. You're just amazed by those. Ava, can I see Beast in a cave? <laughs> that one's so good. All right. That's all I got. I mean, I don't, I don't know. But man, Ava is <laughs> so good. I hope everyone just comes up with some other, some of their own. It's like, please, we'll vote on, on who, who wins this one or something. Please send in, like, more of these. Entertain Matt for hours. Yeah, please entertain me. I have a broken leg, okay? Feel bad for me and send me some palindrome phrases. <laughs> please. Like, no lemon. Yeah, no, no lemon, melon. no melon. <laughs> All right, go away. <laughs>